Hey everyone. Okay, so um, I'm the last one of the day, so you don't, I'm not trying to take too much of your time. Um, I'm Alex from uh, Tap Protocol, CSO. Uh, what we're building is like uh, an ordinal uh, meta protocol, right? And I'm here today about trying to educate you a bit about like indexers on Bitcoin. Um, I'm not just trying to shield too much of the project. So first, why people don't know too much about indexers, right, and what they are in general. It's like the problem with indexer is that they are like really technical and very abstract. Like most of people just kind of like, you know, they never heard about like that type of concept. They don't know what it's talking about. They don't know what it's used for as well. And so it's uh, something that is always in the background, right? It's a behind process, something that users don't really interact with. Um, say, for example, that you guys are just like trading uh, meme coin on Ethereum, right? What's happening is like you mainly, most of the time, just checking your transaction, let's say on Ethereum scan or something like this. On the case of like Bitcoin, it's like it's really complicated for you to just interact directly with the, with the indexers, right? If you are not at least a developer or anybody that has like some kind of like technical knowledge about it. So developers most of the time use it in order to extract the data on top of BTC and just using for various regions. So on our side, for example, for that protocol, what we use it in is for like reading the inscriptions that exist on the UTXOs. So um, that's the best way to just kind of like uh, represent it. I guess that the left image is most people here's Telegram, actually. Uh, it's a real mess. And what we, the indexer is doing is like simply getting to try to order everything and just make things clean so it's easier to just first find them and as well uh, getting to just use the data later on. Um, the problem of the indexer that we face uh, on some type of technology currently as well in the ordinal uh, in the ordinal like industry, I would say, if we can call that an, uh, an industry, uh, is that we are facing a centralization of the of the of the indexers, right? So, what is like the problem with the centralization of indexers is like, take it for example with that uh, Mr. Joe, or whatever you want to call him, that is like a librarian, right? Uh, say that he's like ordering his book all the time in his library, and that tomorrow there is a flood and lost every single knowledge, right? And what is the problem uh, is because it brings all of these kind of situation. First, you have an inaccessibility of data, so it's impossible suddenly for developers to actually access the data themselves. Uh, you can have the corruption or manipulation, which is okay if you're just doing like data science, it's not really like the best thing that can happen, right? But when we are talking, for example, on the ordinal side, where like, people trade a bunch of meme coin that may be valued like millions of dollars, you can wake up tomorrow and have a balance of zero, simply because a nefarious actor just decided to just change the balance, right, at the, at the indexer level. Um, increased vulnerability to, to censorship, of course, because like if a government just like pressure decentralized entity, then you guys get wrecked. Uh, easier to hack as well, but I already talked about this, and the potential of data loss. So whatever happens, you can just like simply lose it like overnight again. What we're trying to just like bring as well is simply a decentralization of the indexers. Instead of having a central entity just collaborating, um, well, a central entity just like organizing all the data themselves and just having like it to be like the central, the, the main point of failure, we're just simply just using uh, the Bitcoin network aspect and just try to decentralize the indexer in order to have like multiple of them that just cross chain like uh, data veracity, right? And checking simply, just putting, let's say, the, um, uh, the responsibility uh, on each node, right? So why it is virtual is because, again, core value alignment, alignment with like Bitcoin. It's exactly the same, just relying on like a decentralization of like the network in order to just uh, trust. The, we have like a data integrity, so by cross-checking the data across like all the network, we can be sure that eventually like what is being like uh, passed is actually truth. 
the growth is probably the largest aspect at the moment is like with the increased number of like um, block uh, for Bitcoin, then there is an increase as well uh, number of data that are actually processed, right? And by we can simply scale up the network of the indexers by adding more nodes on it, right? Efficient access to data, again, same things. The network congestion, quite evident. When you plug like more validators, then you avoid to just actually just having like super high fee and super things like this. Scalable infrastructure, again, plugging more validators means like having more trust and uh, enable complex query. This one is a little bit like more complicated, right? But like on the Bitcoin itself, you have a bunch of data. And when you actually have um, more validator and you decentralize network, it enables as well to process more algorithm on top of Bitcoin. And it doesn't seem very super interesting like this, right? But imagine that you want to plug an AI on Bitcoin in order to actually just get the Bitcoin data uh, from the UTXOs. You're never going to be able to do it with a centralized indexer. It's just going to be like a clusterfuck. But if you're just doing it with a decentralized indexer, then you can just like run it for each node separately. So you can see on the left side is like what's happening mostly of the time like in these days on, on, the, on the ordinal side. On the right side is what we are just actually proposing as a model, right? Those validator basically um, are actually pushed like all around the world, right? What uh, we're trying to do is like having most of them just uh, less in control of the network in order to just like make sure that everything is like uh, decentralized, right? And this is what we do at uh, Track Network, right? So at the moment, what we have is like we have a node of like 3,000 validator that we are running on top of BTC. And the idea is just to create the largest like decentralized indexer in the world in order to just like query like Bitcoin data. Use both for like data scientists as it can be used as well for like new concept like ordinals, right? I know, and this is the just like little meme for the fun. And thank you everybody. That was very fast, I guess, more like 10 minutes. Join us, please, thank you. your company ready for the next evolution in financial strategy? Bitcoin for Corporations is your partner in securing the future of your business. With exclusive membership benefits, our comprehensive masterclass, and a network of trusted service providers, we provide the insights and resources to help you incorporate Bitcoin into your financial strategy, ensuring stability and long-term value. Strengthen your business. Innovate with confidence. Bitcoin for Corporations, protecting your treasury and positioning you for the future.